joined the Army in 1966, July 7th, July 6th, 1966. They went to Fort Gordon for basic, Fort Jackson for AIT, and to jump school at Fort Benning. From there, went to uh, 82nd Airborne, stayed there about seven months. And in, the, in September of 67, uh, got transferred to the 101st of Fort Campbell, and trained there for three months, and shipped over to Vietnam with the 2nd and 3rd Brigades of the 101st. Airborne Division and went into Kuchi, where the 25th was. Wow. Uh, rode on some of those APCs for a change. It wasn't good with the Red Ants when he was a tree. You knew what, who was worse, the Red Ants or, the, or, or Charlie. So, uh, <coughs> from there, we moved up north to the DMZ just in time for Tet. Spent the rest of my time up there about 10 more months, well, actually six months. Got wounded twice, went back to Benoit. Who's the pilot there in Benoit? Who's who served in Benoit? There you go. Go, go, Johnny. That's your Johnny. All right. And uh, okay, came home. You know the drill. Came home a little depressed, a little especially from the field. Lost a lot of guys, a lot of your uh, buds. And uh, this is Christmas in Kuchi, 1967. This guy just died actually last week. The best buddy. Oh, he's in Memphis, Tennessee. He's uh, burials tomorrow, actually. Uh, this gentleman, this gentleman, this gentleman, we'll see a little further. Got uh, at least 13 guys. Some of them are in there. Mm -hmm. Including my Petulia. Friendly fire incident, March 26, 1968. Nine, nine four deuce mortar rounds fell short. 6155. Heavy stuff. Wow. Wiped our company out. 32, uh, 13 dead, 22 wounded, and not a good day. And uh, yeah, my squad leader, Hubbard, this guy, uh, he was an inspiration for the book. Guy Pineapple from California, he was a lion. Tulia, Phil Craig. Ben, from New Jersey, actually about eight years ago, I went down to Vietnam Memorial in. In, in Homedale, New Jersey. Anybody been there? Wonderful memorial. Yeah, beautiful. Looking around, they go day to day, they go every day a year, 360 plaques, about so big and granite. And uh, I see his name there, this is crazy. What is this? You know, it's like, it's like a I, I thought he was from Connecticut, but sometimes, you know, the thing with the book, too, if you're looking for a name in the book, uh, you don't know where he lived, where he joined, and you know what I mean? So it's a, yeah, it's kind of a, uh, a misnomer. So I never knew he was from Jersey. I thought he was from Connecticut where he lived because we talked. Occasionally he was a squad leader at times. But he, uh, I had to talk to Max Tulia. So uh, that was that. Uh, that was taken a few years ago. These are the etchings I took from the 13 guys off the wall who died. 12 died there one day. The next guy, the other guy died in the hospital shortly after. And uh, okay. From there, Depression set in. Well, depression, or whatever you want to call it, I just had it with the war, you know, the politics of the war. Came home, it wasn't fun, and uh, took about 13 years off. I followed the war, but not openly. But Reagan dedicated the wall in the 82. Bingo, I was down there. Met a lot of guys that I never knew before, and we served together, but not at the same time or the same place, but we spoke the same language. You know, military talk. You were there what year? Sir? You were there what year? Yes, sir. What year were you in there? December 67 to December 68. And uh, funny about that language you talk. You did, like, like you guys, I don't know, you guys really talk stuff. You know stuff. You really feel the same stuff. It's the, the best therapy I can there is. Believe it. You get the, the shrink and the pills and the stuff. And talk to the talk to best, man. You know, you let them off a little bit. And uh, once that happened, I met these guys, went to the Hilton Hotel, and went to the hospitality suite, just like this gathering here, but a lot bigger. And uh, one thing led to another, back to this, back to that, reunion, join that, join that. I'm sorry. That's okay, bro. This is not church, it's all right. Uh, okay. So, uh, the, uh, went to the Hilton, Met guys, uh, met up with guys, this, that, the other thing. Joined the 101st Air, 101st Air Force Division Association within a few years. 
I went to meetings. My mama came as secretary for two years. You know the drill. You become one of these members uh, offices here, and uh, that was great because you working on the the monthly <laughs> newsletter. Uh, you know, they had to dig up a lot of information, so I got to touch you guys, to touch you thing, and it went well. Then I joined the second, uh, the second, then here comes the American Legion, and here comes the VFW, and the, the DAV, and the Rick of and everything else had in there, you know, like, it was, it, it was so cool to meet these guys and know, you know, what they went through and how they were hurting inside. They were always at the wall, though. Always back to Washington, at the wall, at the wall. So, it seemed like there was a, like this healing process that started to, to blossom. And from there, we had a, 101st had a, a Bass Stone reunion every December. From World War II, the Battle of the Bugs, 101st Battle of Bulge. 101st went in, defended the city, and they always had their reunion at West Point. So, we got out there for the last 25 years. And they say, Ron, you're going to jump with a snowbird next year? Everybody knows what a snowbird is, right? Go down to Florida yeah, in the winter? Yeah. I said, no, no, I'm not going to do it. Last year I finally said, okay, no, year, sorry, year before last. What, are you so, jumping up for Hills, Florida? Yeah. yeah. There you go, there you go. I will. When I came back from Mama, I was with the, uh, with the 18th Air Force Tour down in Fort Bragg. I see you back. You have a little pin there. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you for your oh, service, brother. And, uh, so, went to uh, Snowbird, did my first jump in 47 years. Here we are. Let me give you a little highlight here for about a minute. This is the craziest day in the world. How long did it take to clean your pants afterwards? <laughs> All right, baby. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah, baby. Shoot open. First time in 47 years. That was crazy. <laughs> so, all of a sudden, yeah, once, I start to enjoy the ride instead of going. With the wind, I'm not supposed turn to be, into turn it to the wind. These guys are going over this way, right? Where's the other guy? Where's this Jim? Oh my God! <laughs> Tom McMullen and uh, Jim Wilson. What'd you guys, jump out of? What, what height? It, uh, an otter, twin otter. There was like 13. No, but how high up? 1,250 feet, something 1,300. Okay. Feet. So here you go. See, these guys are going that way. I'm going this way. I'm quiet. I listen to the words that come out. That shit. I'm going to the trees. <laughs> so here we go. Come around. And believe it or not, this all that up to this book. So here we go. There's a great shot though. There's two guys way over there. I'm over here, right? I'm supposed to be with them. And uh, boom, into the ground. So here we go. 47, 1967, they made a last jump. We got two points of contact. 2015, yeah. I made three. <laughs> 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 Supposed to be five. At least I know that. Okay. So, did the jump, and they said, Ron, now that you did the jump, you want to go to Normandy? I go, not really. Sure enough, back to Titusville, Florida, back to Zephyr Hills. Learned to pack my own shoe, did five jumps out of a Cessna, little Cessna, three of us were in there. And then, last June, a year ago, went to Normandy, did a reenactment jump. Unbelievable experience. And on the way back, Matthew came with me and one of my younger sons, Zachary, came. We started talking about, you know, why don't we do like a Facebook page, do something like that, do a website, get psyched up in this way, with all the stuff that I had that I brought back in the now. Right. And we said no. We stopped, and the, my son, I have one of my younger boys, a 15-year-old, he's in a special needs school outside of Boston, in Middleborough. So driving past there on Route 90 to the Massachusetts Pike, he says a sign says, Massachusetts Vietnam Memorial. I go there. So this is, I'm not a little sick yet. This is a week, uh, week before Normandy. Uh, we stop there, and they have this big ceremony for Memorial Day. So I go, the guy, I go to the guy, is there a guy named, does anybody know Glenn Hubbard? He was killed in a friendly fire incident, which haunts me every day. Yeah. And the guy says, I don't know, but now you can go up to the mic and ask anybody to do like two or three other people there. So he let me speak. I spoke about five or ten minutes, you know, five minutes, not as long as this. But uh, nobody knew him, but his name was described on the pillars back here. There's all the losses in, in Massachusetts. 
And that was that was it. We right for there and then I talked to Matt and said, Matt, let's do this. Let's drive around the country, go there, fly around the country, around the world, wherever we go home, we ask Hawaii, whatever, and the, the territories. But then we said, yo, bro, this is kind of expensive. We have a lot of time, and I still work. So uh, we decided to uh, start the book. And the book was going through. What we were going to do was have a profile of the uh, uh, each monument, how, how the funds were raised, whose idea was it, where it was going to be put, who was the sculptor, who was the, the architect, who was the landscape architect, who was there on dedication day, all these facts. But you can't believe the internet, so you gotta, gotta, you got to get on the phone at night, right? Or a day, whatever. So, usually start around 6 o'clock, because you guys probably come in about 6 o'clock here, right? 6, 7 o'clock. Uh, and I, we pick a state memorial, in each, which was the state memorial. But we went a little askew for the re reason being uh, it was some closest to my heart. One was Westchester County up in Madison <coughs> Park. You know, I had three, three guys I went to high school with. Uh, P. Mitchell, Peter Bushy, and Jeff Dodge from Yonkers. I went to Yonkers High School. And so I forgot, I, I didn't even know where the memorial was. It wasn't, it wasn't in Albany. The one in Albany is not attractive. And the one downtown is kind of amongst all these buildings and shadows and stuff, no life. So, uh, uh, we, and then we went to Arlington, Texas to, uh, didn't go there, but we picked them up from Arlington, Texas for the sake of uh, the first Vietnamese and American soldier in the monument, which obviously states its own case. And then there was one in Nevada. They had three v VVA chapters work on that memorial. The civilian BVA, I could call civilian, uh, wrote, picked the site, gathered the funds. And there was one of the state correctional facility who quarried the stone. And the third one set it up. And there was a uh, regular well, the correctional facility and a uh, some kind of incarceration a little stronger than like a state penitentiary kind, of kind of thing. So they, they uh, that was the, the, the Nevada uh, one. And New Jersey, which was great. But New Jersey itself, they put up a helicopter two years ago. We have our first picnic every year there. They put this helicopter up. If you walk underneath there, sounds like the U. Tremendous. And Educational Center is really wonderful. And they have a, uh, that's what they had a 360 degree uh, circular thing there, the, the, the slabs of each state. Every soldier from New Jersey killed on that day. Mm. And, uh, they, and since then, the reason we did this too, another reason was that so many places changed. New Jersey <coughs> changed. Two years ago, they put a helicopter up. There's about 15 to 20 now around the country with uh, <coughs> monuments that have helicopters, Apache or Cobras or uh, Hueys. They have uh, scout door monuments. They have ghost or mother monuments. So these kind of things that most of these were dedicated 20, 30 years ago, 80s and 90s. And a lot of some people might have gone there. They go back now, you're never going to know it. The same place. Uh, two have uh, rest stops, one in uh, West Virginia and one in Vermont. <coughs> yeah, it's on a highway rest stop is the uh, Vietnam oh. Memorial with yeah. everything that they have there. So uh, there's a ton of... What's uh, going on right there? Is that a medic? This is... Uh, uh, a nurse helping uh, a wounded soldier out in uh, the New Jersey Memorial. Yeah. And, uh, <coughs> back this. Oh, this is the Mazda Park again. The this Mazda. is dedicated to nurses as well. Uh, they have a, this is uh, obviously the Booney Hat, an M60 uh, belt. The Walk of Montreal of Honor up there. Uh, this is the Lisp. This is me with a, with a hundred first, this is dedication day, 1987. I was up at the BVA in Armand uh, last week, actually, last Thursday night, and I found 20 pictures from this uh, uh, dedication day. Yeah, that's what the, that's what the, the Vietnam veterans of America meet up. Correct. Yeah, yeah at the American and Memorial that in Armand, right. Yeah. And uh, it was really an interesting uh, night, because I couldn't remember half the people in the pictures, and they, obviously, they did. Uh, and so then we go to the 
you know, each page, uh, each state, sorry, has a, a profile, a list of KIAs, and the, uh, the pictures about around the uh, memorial itself. Anybody has any questions? We have a list of POWs there, too? No. Once the, well, we do have the territories involved, and uh, this is our, our uh, my journey, to try to save cost on the uh, book. Uh, we started this in September, and we got it out in, I picked it up in April, which wasn't too bad. Pretty good, pretty good speed. I flew to Minnesota, a place called Mankato, outside of, uh, 50 miles outside of Minneapolis. It took two days to drive back. Saved two grand because they shipped it within thirty-eight hundred dollars. We spent fifteen hundred dollars on the truck and yeah. a free half of the miles. And uh, that's what. Yeah, there you go. Your old truck with the book and all you have on shirt. Eighty-second shirt here. Then I put my hundred first. Eighty-second hat on the first shirt. Too big. That's okay. And this is up in the. This here was in the paper, maybe you saw it or not, I don't know if you did, yeah. on, on Memorial it's Day. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this was done on the, the, the Journal News did an article on this on uh, this, this Memorial Day Sunday, and the Journal News did one on uh, the Monday of Memorial Day, which is great, because it covered about five counties. And, but our, another goal for the writing of the book, the purpose was to try to get it to guys who can't get to the memorials. You might get to your local memorial, but for even for guys who live in East Chester here or Scarsdale, whatever you want to call this, the closest one I imagine with here would be, might be Manhattan, and that's down in the lower, well, like in the Wall Street, Wall Street area, or Somers. You know, you've got to go probably only 20 miles this way, but that way is about 35. So, minutes. yeah, but the uh, point was in Maine, I talked to the chapter, BVA chapter guy in Maine. His monument was 350 miles away. Yeah. Same thing in Idaho, <coughs> three, 400 miles away. Mm -hmm. They have these smaller ones that a lot of chapters put up, but it's not like something you see that's big. A little more, I would, I would say, uh, representative of what's needed for the Vietnam veterans. And uh, for a guy in his 60, 70 years old, he's not going to drive two days, three days on the motels and tolls and gas and food on the road. Come on. It's going to cost about 800 bucks. So we tried to bring a, a memorial to guys like you. Now, every state has a memorial? Iowa has 99 counties. Has 99 people. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow. Yeah. wow. Uh, in Carmel, New York, right. they have a memorial. I don't know if it's Vietnam or not. They have a helicopter and a tank. Oh, really? Well, that's that memorial as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah they had the traveling wall there. We went there. Actually, that's in the book. The traveling wall. We have the 50 states in the centerfold. You get a picture of me in the centerfold. With or without. Airborne. Bonus time. And uh, at the back of the book is the traveling wall, which was in the Carmel in uh, October. We went there and we took the pictures because it was there. We could sort of fitting to be in the book. Okay. In the book. And uh, yeah, they do there. It's, it's mounted there. Very it's nice. A cobra and a. Uh, it's a tank. Yeah, it is a tank. And, and, uh, and my uh, son in law built the all the. All the um, really? The, uh, I, what do they call it? The rebar and all that right. stuff? Yeah. Nice, yeah. Uh, that's a nice setup. <clears throat> so yeah, he's an airborne ranger. They have a couple of trucks. Who, they have a